Our top story today, more migrant teenagers being housed at the downtown convention center have now tested positive for COVID-19. And this news comes as more migrant girls are expected to arrive in San Diego today. News 8's Chris Crow is live downtown where there's a display of support for these migrant girls. Chris? And to talk about those COVID-19 cases, we have 82 now positive cases inside the convention center and 250 more girls will be coming here uh, for shelter during this asylum process. So we are quickly approaching that thousand mark there. We have 723 here already, so 250 will bring us closer there. Now we know we have the capacity for 1,450 or so here inside the convention center. Now, as for that support that we saw just a short while ago, Enrique Morones, a longtime migration advocate, was out here having what he's been describing as a vigil, a vigil uh, that he's been having every Wednesday since January 20th, in some ways to hold the feet to the fire of the Biden administration for calling for immigration reform. Uh, he says that essentially what they're doing is not only honoring those who have passed during this dangerous process here, trying to uh, cross the border, but also seek asylum, but also trying to show support again for those girls ages 13 to 17 that are inside that convention center right now that made this long, arduous and dangerous journey here to the United States of America in hopes for a better life. Now, so far, again, back to those COVID-19 cases, what we know is that they have been taken to an upper floor. We know uh, that the case rate doubled there uh, from Saturday, the weekend to Monday, and now we have additional 12 more cases from yesterday, but again, we are going to wait to see if there are any more additional cases after 250 arrive today. But as for the support and why it's needed, again, Enrique Moronas telling us that greater and better immigration reform is needed so that girls don't have to go through journeys like this. Children don't have to go through journeys like this and families don't have to make these type of sacrifices. The situation of people coming to the border is not new. It's been happening in my entire life. There's been bigger numbers before. We need to have humane immigration reform because we don't have it. We had the 13 people that died in an accident in Holtville. We had a Cuban young man that died swimming back to the border at force just a couple of days ago. Had we had humane immigration reform, these people wouldn't be dying. And as we have been told, the girls will be staying here between 30 to 35 days or potentially getting out a little earlier if they are able to connect with a family member that lives here in the United States of America or potentially with a sponsor until their asylum court hearing date. Reporting in downtown San Diego, I'm Chris Groh for News 8.